Today on The Daily Dose, the Battle of Incheon. After North Korean forces crossed the 38th parallel and captured the South Korean capital of Seoul, U.S. President Harry S. Truman named General Douglas MacArthur commander-in-chief of all Allied forces during the Korean War. Before an Allied troop buildup could be landed on the Korean Peninsula, American and South Korean troops were pushed back to Pusan during heavy fighting in August 1950, leading MacArthur to propose a major amphibious landing behind enemy lines at the busy port of Incheon, which would allow the Allies to attack enemy forces from two directions at once. Despite heavy objections from other military leaders that such a landing would be hampered by Incheon's narrow port channels and extreme tides, Operation Chromite began with an elaborate diversionary attack at Kusan, some 100 miles south of Incheon. On September 10, 1950, five days before the Allies' invasion at Incheon, American warplanes and naval ships bombarded enemy forces and artillery positions at Wilmedo, Green Beach, and Red Beach, while on September 13, British and American warships fired some 1,000 rounds of five and six inch shells onto enemy fortifications surrounding Incheon, but not before enemy shelling damaged three Allied warships. Beginning in the early morning of September 15th, elements of X Corps landed at Green Beach, followed by landings at Red Beach late in the afternoon. By nightfall, all enemy defenses at Incheon had been neutralized allowing Allied forces to begin their assault on Seoul, some 25 miles to the northeast. On September 17th, Allied forces took control of Kimpo Airfield west of Seoul, the largest and most important airfield in Korea. And after an attempt by North Korean forces to retake the field, an overwhelming Allied force moved into Seoul, pushing enemy forces back across the Han River. Seoul was declared liberated on the evening of September 25th, while the last elements of North Korean forces would be driven out or destroyed by September 28th, which, according to military historian Spencer C. Tucker, embodied the only unambiguously successful large-scale U.S. combat operation for the next 40 years, making the Battle of Incheon one of the most decisive engagements during the Korean War. And there you have it, the Battle of Incheon, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.